Welcome to my 2015 Tab trailer. This great little trailer, I really love it, but there's things that I don't so much love about it. One of the things that I didn't love about it was that big old honking table that was here. Um, replaced it with a nice swinging lagoon table. Love that. Another thing that I didn't love about it was that little dinky sink. So I put in a nice big stainless steel sink. Also didn't like that little plastic faucet in the back, so I put in a nice spray handle faucet. Love that too. Uh, built a nice cutting board for the top of the sink, gives you more space. Love that too. Was not too much in love with the five gallon water tank under here, so I, um, <laughs> I upgraded that to a nine gallon tank, doubled my water supply. Um, so. The, the things that I love in this trailer, I love, and the things I don't, I'm trying to get rid of. So, these are the things I've done inside. Um, let's take a look outside, and I'll show you one of the things that I don't love about it, and how we're going to take care of that one today. Okay, so here we are on the outside of the trailer. This is my tongue. Um, I know a lot of you put on big metal boxes out here. Um, I tow my trailer with a pickup truck with a Tornado cover on it. So I don't need the extra storage. Everything that I need to carry, I store in my truck. That helps with the weight balance. I don't put too much stress on my uh, frame or any of that, I don't worry about it. But I don't like this plastic. Um, I like the way it looks, but I'm not too thrilled with it in a couple other ways. One, if you've noticed, it's made out of fiberglass and it has no support. See that? If I push down on that, see how that flexes? I mean, that's really, 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 really weak. And those of you that live in snowy areas like I do, you can get a lot of snow on here. And I think it's just a matter of time before this breaks. Two other things is when you open it up, if you look close, those are not even real hinges there. Those are just plastic push-in buttons, like the ones that they use to hold carpet down inside. Let's look at the other side. They're just these little press-in plugs. They use them to hold down carpet inside automobiles and stuff. Really not a very good idea. Not very strong. I've heard stories about these lids flying off. Um, not great. The other thing is, you see how that lid, it, it doesn't stay open because it's hitting right here on top of the handle for the propane tank. So what I want to do is I'm going to reinforce the top of this to make this thing stronger so it won't break on me. I'm going to fix those hinges so that they're real pivot point hinges. Um, probably a brass a bolt, that kind of thing, so it won't rust or anything right in each corner. I'm also going to move this, this propane tank. If you look, I've got plenty of room up front. I'm going to modify this uh, frame so that that propane tank can come forward, which will allow this top to open fully to the back. Um, so let's uh, go at that. We're going to take the propane tank out first so you can see what's going on in there. Back in Okay, the now that we have the propane tank, propane tank out, you can see how the mount is. There are two, one, and two side supports that the battery mounts on, that the propane hanger mounts on. I'm gonna take off that bolt and that bolt, and there's one on either side under the battery. I'm gonna move this frame assembly forward about two inches and re-bolt it back down. That will give me the clearance, because if you can see now, this tub, folds completely up, stays up, doesn't hit. When the tank comes forward, it won't hit anymore. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce that top. This is a piece of aluminum um, square tubing. It is powder coated white. Um, I happen to have this around. These are, you can find these at Home Depot. These are used as um, stair railing styles. Um, you know, they're normally mounted like this and they go down. Um, so I'm gonna cut that to length and then I'll pop rivet it to the length of that. That will give this a whole lot more support. And by moving the tank forward, I won't hit the top of the tank anymore and my cover will be able to stay out. I'll also be able to lift the propane tank out of here 
much more easy because it won't be wedged back in there. It'll just be a vertical pull. Anyway, back at it. Now I have the, the propane tank is out, battery and the battery box is out, and that bolt and that bolt, and now that the battery box is out, you can see that bolt and that bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and take those bolts off, move this, take those two bolts off, take those two bolts off, move this whole thing a few inches forward, re-drill, and bolt them back down. Should be fairly simple. Yeah. The bin off. It's over here. Um, got those four bolts disconnected. I'm going to rivet here, rivet there, rivet there, and then I'm going to move this thing forward, drill it, and mount it. See it a bit. Okay, we have the frame out. There's the frame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, plastic back on the trailer and then adjust the frame so that it clears. I want to show you this. This is one of the big problems here. This is the lid. And that's the hinge. Look at that. It's just one of those plastic um, push pins that hold carpet down. That's what's holding this entire lid on. I can't imagine at freeway speeds that that's that, that strong. It's no wonder I've heard so many stories of people losing these lids. They come off and whoosh, they're gone. So before mine comes off, <laughs> I'm going to do something about it. So that's next on our list. So we're going to place that back on there, the frame up here, and mark everything so I know where to uh, drill it and bolt it back down. And a little bit farther forward inside the plastic piece. See you in a bit. Here's the support. This is the lid um, for my uh, front trailer. Um, I just pop riveted on that quarter, um, three quarter inch aluminum frame rail. Um, strong as an ox now. Next, there's my final mock up. Got everything placed. Um, check this out stays up by itself because it goes you know farther back um, look at the clearance that I have on the propane tank you can see my aluminum support that I pop riveted in place um, since the pop rivets are on the back lip of this you can't even see them and look at how much stronger that is I mean you put 10 20 pounds of weight on that without that even flexing much at all nice so, all of my prerequisites are met. The uh, top is more secure. It gives me better clearance to the propane tank. Um, I'm going to next upgrade the hinges on the side there. We're going to use some nice clevis pins to do that and some spacers. But I think this project is done. Excellent. Um, my, not quite done, but... I'm going to drill two new mount holes there and there and there and there for total and that would have moved that face up a little bit. Hope this is all pretty clear to you. Um, I thought it might be uh, nice to share it with you guys if you're having the same kind of problem as I was and were a little afraid that the lid was either going to fly off or was going to break under the weight of snow. We'll see you later.